one of our seminars could be a potential employer in the end. I first encountered the KI Career Service as a PhD student. And it was actually the first door opener for me. The KI Career course was interesting itself and I met many people. I've networked a lot and I met a lot of speakers. But I think the thing for me that was the most important thing was uh, the internship I got. And without the, the KI Career Service, I wouldn't have that opportunity. One of the advantages of doing a PhD at such a big university is that they have an active career service. I would suggest every student to make use of it um, because the networking events they organize, they are brilliant. Increasing numbers of PhDs are being released from universities onto a decreasing job market. And when you're in the same room with other people who are just as clever as you who have a PhD, then you have to start looking at what other skills and so on that you can put your hand up with that will differentiate you from your competition. And many students don't even think about this because they're so focused on their studies. Career service have been fantastic. I had a PhD student who was in my lab before actually, um, who had done an internship for, with the Nobel Museum via the um, career service. And she loved it, had a fantastic time. So as soon as she had done it and I was in a position where I was able to do one, I got in contact with them. They've put on various events that have made it really easy for um, postdocs to meet the different companies and different people who are interested in having an intern. If you have an idea what you want to do then you should look into that early but at the same time if you don't know what to do I think you shouldn't get scared about that either. Sometimes it's a little bit like jumping in the deep end of the pool and discovering that you can actually swim because I think once you have gone through a PhD you can do a lot of things that you're not aware of. If you said to me two years ago you'll do an internship working on a science podcast I probably would have laughed and said yeah no way but actually it's been fantastic doing it and I think you need to just try things and talk to people and take on experiences that others have, have had. The activities that we provide them with is usually an eye-opener and they usually come back to our activities, which we think is a proof that we are actually doing things in the right way, uh, that we do provide them with uh, the quality that they need for pursuing a career, both in academia but also outside. To the researchers at the Karolinska Institute, we offer specific support for the really important situations. For grant applications, we offer both writing services and interaction in the process. And also when researchers are called for interviews for really specific grants, we offer extensive support and guidance in interview situations. The Karolinska Institute is such an internationally orientated university that um, using the career service and the grants office um, is an important tool, um, not only for researchers who plan a permanent career in academia and maybe here in Stockholm, but also for people who just spend um, a little while um, during their research career here to, to make the most out of their stay. The biggest challenge is figuring out what you want to do. There are so many opportunities out there and it's very difficult to sort of narrow it down into what fits you the most. They will guide you through finding the perfect job. We want to have some professional experience. I mean, every student here wants to have the best employment as soon as possible after graduation. And the care service office is just a lot of help in terms of that.